Okay, so we're ready to start building our profile layout. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is gonna be a difficult layout to build. It's very tricky, there's a lot of little parts. So watch very carefully, and if you uh, think you, you are getting confused, just go to my GitHub and copy the source code so that you don't get caught up on this. But I'm gonna try and break it up into small pieces so it's not so bad. So um, yeah, well, first of all, what we're gonna start with is Oh, actually, here I'll talk about how how this is how this is made really quick, so you understand. So um, when you first look at it, it looks like there's a toolbar up top, and when you scroll, oops, and when, damn it, and when you scroll, the, what the? Oh, this emulator. I'm just gonna use my hand. So if you scroll, it looks like the toolbar is um, minimizing, but actually, what's happening is. The toolbar is part of the layout itself. It's actually in the layout. It's not alone standing. Like this is not a collapsing toolbar. It just looks like it is because when you pull it down, it it makes it look like the toolbar is standing alone. But actually, the toolbar is part of the layout. It's the only way that this would be able to slide up like that. So, so what what we're gonna do is we'll we'll create a layout for the just the toolbar, and then we're gonna create a layout for this middle section right here. I'm not gonna add these. Just, just so you know, these, uh, this little toolbar right here. I'm gonna leave that out. So we're gonna have a top section. We're gonna have this middle section, which has like, you know, the photo, all this stuff, and then all these details. And then we'll have a bottom section. Actually, also, we'll have the grid view in here too. So we'll have a middle section, which will have like all this and the grid view, and then a bottom section with with the uh, navigation view. So it'll be three sections. Uh, one other thing to note. In this layout, how they do it is um, it, the whole thing slides. And if any of you have any experience with Android, you'll know that putting a scrolling view inside of another scrolling view is like a very, very difficult thing to do. So like this down here is probably a grid view, but also this whole layout is scrolling. So essentially it's a scroll view inside of a scroll view, which is very hard to do. So I'm gonna leave that part out. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this sort of static and the only scrolling part is going to be the grid view down here it's just like it it's it's doable but it's very difficult and it requires a lot of code and i don't want you guys to get hung up on it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make the grid view scroll and the rest of it is going to be static okay so we'll start by building this this top part right here so let's go and we can close all this stuff and we'll go into layout and create a new layout file and take note of the naming convention I'm going to use here. I'm going to use snippet top profile bar. And this is that other sort of naming convention that I mentioned in earlier videos. Um, I'm going to get rid of, oh, whoops. I'm going to copy this. So control C on that, select all, delete. And I'm going to merge and paste that back in. And then close the merge and close the merge tag there. I named it snippet because it's not really going to be a layout. It's going to be just it's because it's going to be put inside of a layout. Um, so let's create the app bar layout and get in here and we'll do width match parent and then height will be 50 dp, which is our standard that we've been using for the toolbars. And uh, actually, I don't think you need fit system window because it's not collapsing. And so we'll go background at drawable and this is going to be white gray border bottom and notice the uh, auto completion isn't working either because we're inside of the merge and we're just going to leave that there now we create our toolbar so v7 toolbar we can go match parent the size of the action bar so action bar size and uh, what we need to give it an ID, we'll go profile toolbar. We need to give it an ID because we're gonna add a menu to it. So we're gonna need some way of referencing it. Um, so, and this this is just, I, I don't really need to write this actually. I could probably just write wrap content, that'd be fine. And we can do, that should be fine. That should be all we need actually. And then inside of the toolbar, we because if you look at Instagram, oh, these ads, um, we have like this little text up here. When I click on it, it doesn't do anything. It's just text. Uh, this is for adding other contacts, and then this is going to be uh, profile settings. So if I click on it, it will take me to settings in my profile. The emulator isn't refresh. There we go. 
So that's how you do that. So that's why we need to add a menu and we also need to add this text view. Then inside here, we're just gonna put a text view and uh, how long do we want it? I guess, I guess we can just do wrap content and then the height will be, we can do match parent because it'll uh, sit in the whole thing. And we wanna do some layout, whoops. We do layout gravity. So start typing gravity and oh you can't do layout gravity because it's not inside of a layout so I want to center this thing so what we'll do is we'll close it all in a relative layout we'll do match parent match parent and go down and then stick this text view inside of the relative layout and then that'll give us the ability to center it uh, vertically so now I can do center vertically um, just so that text sits right directly into the middle. I don't want it to kind of hovering wherever. And let's actually put some text in it right now just so we can see what it looks like. So I'll do Mitch.Tavian. And now I can see it's really small, so let's change the text size. We'll do 20 SP, it'll be pretty big. And we'll do text color, our color. I don't have a black color, so let's go into colors and we'll add one new color. Copy that, call it black and do zero, 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 close colors. Now we can do color black. This is not centering vertically. That's oh, it's because of this. Uh, we need to do height wrap content. Oh, this, wrap content, there we go. Um, this, yeah, it's fine, wrap content. This, this could be match parent, that doesn't matter, but this has to be wrap content. And then we can center it uh, vertically. And let's just do a little margin on the left. So we'll go margin start and just do like, 15 dp or something that should be okay and then uh we need 9d because we're going to need to and when our, when our app is actually done this of course is going to be dynamic it's going to be based on whatever user is signed in i'm just gonna i just added some text into it right now so we can kind of get a feel for what it looks like but we will need to make it dynamic later okay so that's okay now we need to add the little menu over there but we don't need we're not going to do that in the layout file we're going to do that in the activity so that's what we'll do right now. We're gonna actually create that menu for up there. So let's go to uh, menu, right click, go to new menu resource file, and we'll go, uh, let's call it profile menu. And inside of profile menu, we're just gonna have, in, in Instagram itself, when you click on this, it doesn't actually pull down a menu. When you click on it, it just takes you to the other, uh, I'm guessing, activity. So that's all we really need to do. We don't need to do anything special here. So we can just go um, in here, we can create an item. Uh, close the tag, go up here. There we go. Uh, so let's call it profile menu. And we're not going to add any text, we're not going to add an icon, we're not going to do anything because um, wait, later we'll come back to it and it, we're not going to actually have this pop down. We're just going to click on it and it's going to take us to another activity. So we can close the profile menu and now let's go up and let's go into profile activity and we're gonna create a method for setting up the toolbar. So I'll go, uh, whoops, private boy setup toolbar. And in here, we're gonna create a toolbar widget. We're gonna call it toolbar. Uh, get that V7 widget there that I just imported. And go to toolbar, find view ID, art ID dot profile, profile toolbar. And then we do set support action bar and we pass the toolbar so that it knows uh, which toolbar we're talking about. Now we can set uh, a menu to it. So we can go toolbar dot set on, oops, on menu item click listener, new on menu item click listener. If you don't know how I'm doing this, I just do new and do capital O. You can see the on menu item listener pops up there. Uh, I don't care about the false, we can leave that. Let's just log that we actually clicked on something. So we can go clicked menu item. Item just to test the click. Um, we can do a switch. So switch we do item dot get item ID and open the brackets. And we're just gonna have one case. So r dot ID dot profile menu it was. And we're just gonna log that. So log D Y O Y for us type case. Click the oops. Navigating to profile, I guess, preferences. So now that's just a way that we'll test the click. And we're going to need to insert an override method for the menu. 
Uh, so go alt insert at the bottom and go down to override methods and it's like what is it on option something about options 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 on create options menu there we go and we need to get rid of this we're just gonna pass true and here we go get menu whoops get menu inflator dot inflate and then r dot menu dot our, our profile menu and then type menu here and this is very important if you don't do this it won't work i always forget to add this uh, i always find myself looking at the app and wondering why the toolbar isn't working and this is almost always the case so definitely don't forget to do this or your menu won't pop up um, okay so now if we scroll up we just need to create the activity profile so we'll just do that really quick here we'll go because i want to i want to test the, the menu before we move on to the next video so create a new layout file go to new layout resource file and we'll call it activity profile and once again notice the naming convention since we're using the activity and the activity's name is profile obviously you call it activity profile so go into text and we're going to change this to a coordinator layout because we know later on we're going to have a toolbar down here so we need that coordinator layout and let's create a relative layout do match parent match parent and then inside the relative layout we can just we can add our we can add our snippet include layout uh, snippet profile bar okay so whoops just hit forward slash so um, this isn't how we're gonna do it I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put this snippet inside of another layout file but for right now just for testing I just wanna put it in here and let's just make sure that it's working did I change the activity no I didn't so last thing here is we'll go to change this to activity profile and I just ran the app but it's gonna crash when I go to the profile here yeah so because I hadn't changed the activity yet so now I'm gonna rerun it and let's take a look okay let's go to the profile still crashes because I don't have the bottom navigation view so let's comment that out test it okay there we go so right now we have the toolbar working up there if we click on it it opens up the menu which isn't going to be the case when we actually do it in production I'm gonna make it so that as soon as we click on that it'll take us to another activity so this menu won't actually pop up cool so we're done that video was a little longer than I wanted it to be but uh, we got our menu working at the top of our profile looking good and in the next one we'll start uh, doing more on the profile so we'll actually start building this center layout here and I'm gonna tell you ahead of time it's not gonna be easy once again if you uh, don't want to get mixed up or confused or screw your layout up, layout up just copy my github page but if you follow along I'm gonna go nice and slow so that it should be good so I'll see you in the next video